Hey everybody, welcome back to the weekly vlog. I think you'll have to excuse that I was a day late on the usual weekly vlog. You probably know why. Well, with the whole uh, Alex Maurer DMCA strike thing. I'm guessing a lot of you are probably watching this who are new who just really want an update. I don't really have anything to update you on. Um, I haven't heard any more from uh, Leonard French than what I said in the previous vlog. I still have not heard back from Total Biscuit. Um, my network hasn't gotten back to me yet on if they have a solution. And just like I said in the last vlog, um, I fought the strike, which unfortunately means Alex Maurer has my address and phone number and postal code. So just gotta hope I don't get doxxed. But the show must go on. I'm gonna do this vlog here. I've got a stream later today. So today we're talking about uh, my Reddit page, which basically no one uses. The Friday 13th game, a Fire Pro Wrestling world stream I'm doing later today, and of course, you know, the Patreon shoutouts, little bits of updates on stuff like that, the weekly schedule. And for anyone wondering about my finances right now, I will say that a few people ended up sending in very large donations, and I'm really thankful for them. Um, and a lot of people pledged on Patreon, as you're gonna hear in the Patreon shoutout part. I'm okay right now. Uh, I can't promise absolutely 100% I'll be fine at the end of the month because you never know what happens and I don't want to, you know, put my foot in my mouth too early. Uh, but it seems like we're going to be just fine. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated the best I can on Twitter. Anybody can just tweet me or message me on Discord or anything and just openly ask me how that's doing. I'm very public with that. First with the schedule though, as you probably saw yesterday, because usually I put these up on Mondays, uh, Black and White 2 went up. That's uh, the Lionhead Studio game, guys who made Fable, not like Pokemon Black and White 2. Uh, that went up yesterday and people seem to really like the first episode of that, which I'm happy about because I had a lot of fun recording that earlier in the week. I've got four episodes recorded. The first three are going up this week, as you can see, for the Monday, Wednesday, Friday slot. I was going to have River City Ransom Underground on Tuesday, and in fact, I have forgotten here to change it. Sorry, <laughs> I gotta get this out already. Uh, I was going to have that, but obviously the Alex Mauer thing. So instead, going up later today, I have Super Mario Bros. 3. It's a co-op playthrough with Brandon, and another episode of it on Thursday. And I have to say right now, as much as it's a pain editing the scoreboard in the game, it is easily one of the funniest Let's Plays we've done in a while. Even if you're not into the game, please check it out when it comes out at 3 p.m. So that's on the Tuesday and Thursday slot. I know Tuesday says River City Ransom Underground, but obviously I can't do that right now. The DK64 stream I did with my sister is going to air on Saturday, and the final best of Knights of Pen and Paper goes up Sunday. I know usually I have like three different 6 p.m. videos a week. But with all of this shit going on, I just haven't been able to record those bonus videos for you. Sorry. As usual, casual streams on Saturday and Sunday, and we have a bonus one on Tuesday due to the TAD goals. So we got, I think it was $45 this week. Again, just under the fan voted bonus stream, but we got the $25 bonus stream. Um, for anyone who doesn't know who might be new watching this, TAD it lets you watch advertisements in your browser or your phone to get me paid, link in the description. I'm guessing the reason we didn't pass 50 is because due mostly to Geek Remix being so, so popular on it now, hi Stacy. um, they probably ran out of ad views on a lot of their advertisers because I know Kit told me, uh, he's the owner of TAD, that he needs to really prepare whenever they bring on a big channel because he needs to secure a lot of advertisers because, you know, an advertiser pays for a certain amount of clicks. So after fans have gone through and gotten all those clicks, then it has to keep going down to the lower tier and lower tier and lower tier ads until it's the ones that they didn't pay very much to get on, so it's not worth very much. So naturally, this is going to be the result a few weeks after of any time a really big channel comes on. It's going to take a dip and then it's going to go back up as Kit's able to use the numbers and say, look how easily we got these numbers. People should pay money to get their advertisements on our service. So I'm sure the numbers will go back in no time. That's why it's a record low right now of some advertisements being worth like one point when the low point used to be 15 points. It's still way better than just watching the YouTube ads. Like even if it's one point, you get that one point way faster than one ad view on YouTube. So there's no possible way that uh, Tad could pay less than YouTube. With that, uh, as long as things get fixed up decently, I'm sure that uh, the $50 mark can be passed next week. They can do four streams that week. And God, I hope we get to 100 at some point soon. 
because I mean, a the money would be really useful right now, but b flash trash coming back. Oh, I've wanted to record more Flash Trash forever. I can finally pay Brandon so that we can warrant him spending the time on it. He works so much. Time is money after all, and that's why your time becomes my money when you use Tad. That's a good, weird sounding way to promote Tad. But anyway, Reddit. So I've had a Reddit page for like ever, and I don't know how to use Reddit. I'm pretty sure it was originally made by Buzz Beelzebub like years ago. And he handed over adminship to me because uh, I think something was going on. He's doing some schooling or something and didn't think he'd have time to moderate it. Not that anyone posts on there, but I still check it every day. Basically, does anyone here like use Reddit and is really good at Reddit, like from a moderator standpoint, like changing banners and I hit my hand on the desk and stuff like that? Because I really want to just like hand over adminship because my idea for my Reddit page was always that I have no involvement in it that I'm a user on it just like everybody else with no power. I don't want mod powers. I don't want to be an admin on it. I really, really value freedom of speech. And that's why I want there to be a place where it's very publicly known that I have no control over it. And you can just discuss me and my show. So basically, like, if you want to criticize me in some way and you are for whatever reason afraid that I would delete your comment, and I wouldn't on YouTube, but we all know how unreliable YouTube comments are in the first place with how... The weirdest shit goes to my spam filter, and that clearly is not spam. So I want there to just be a place where you can air that criticism if you have it, and know absolutely for sure I do not have the ability to do anything about it, either than just simply read it and respond to it. It's more for the peace of mind of the community than anything, but I'd really like that. So if there's anybody in the community who's like really good with this Reddit stuff, I'd love to just hand you the keys to the adminship of the Reddit page. Like, it's not like I can do anything with it anyway. I don't know how any of it works. Next Friday the 13th, the game. So Thomas Gangster the Fifth donated this to me near the end of the Payday 2 stream uh, that I did over the weekend, which that will be airing next week, I think. And I'm going to be doing more Payday 2 streams because it was a lot of fun getting back into Payday 2, even if it was <laughs> only for like an hour before I ran out of time. Friday 13th game. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's basically Dead by Daylight, both Friday 13th. You know, there's the eight camp counselors trying to find a way to escape the map. Well, one player is being played played by Jason Voorhees trying to track everyone down and kill everybody. It looks like so much fun. I've been watching a bunch of people play it recently and it got donated to me and I haven't played it yet because I really want to play it with fans. Like I want to stream this with you guys where like, you know, it's got the thing where like the microphone only works in proximity and everything. So I was thinking I could do a whole bunch of streams where I'm just playing it in private matches with you guys. Again, you can just add me on Steam. I have that completely open for anybody to add. Um, I do hit my friends limit often, but every time I hit my friends limit, I go through and look at like who hasn't been on in a month and I'll delete them to make room for the new people. And if you've ever been deleted off because you just haven't been on Steam for a long time, you can re-add me. Like, it's not like I don't want you or anything. It's just I needed to make room. So anybody watching this who has Friday 13th and would love to play it on stream with me, just comment and let me know because I need to make sure that we have enough people in the community who have the game and would be interested in playing it on stream with me because, you know, it's not going to work if we have like three people grand total because it's a nine player game. Before we get on to the Fire Pro Wrestling news though, let's do the Patreon shoutouts because there's a lot right now because a lot of people started pledging uh, during this whole Alex Maurer thing. We've got Ghazali, who I still have not heard back from and I really hope they've gotten their rewards. Again, if you're watching this, Ghazali, message me. The, the Patreon messaging system is really spotty. We got Emeth, Mad Librarian, again, uh, from the moderatorship of the live streams. Fiery Biscuits from over on the forum. Zandak, who actually just, I, I think I said before, like he wasn't currently pledged, but I don't care. He's a badass <laughs> and he's uh, helped so much in the past. Yeah, I think he repledged again, so I, I hope he's doing okay. We got Play Bogart, who's one of my favorite old school reviewers. Night Fury 15, The Jed Star. Jetstream, who is like at the streams constantly. Now, Mike, I'm trying not to fuck up your name. Mike Perowen. If I got that wrong, give me the phonetical in the comment section of this video. Reverend Shadows, who's always around. And of course, the uh, ever amazing Cock Dong, aka Cock Conk Dong. 
Uh, the origin story of that is I think Mandy misread his name once as Cockdong in the chat, and that's just what we call him now. I fucking love that. Fire Pro Wrestling World Stream, though. Today's bonus stream, because you know, usually the stream is not the same day as the vlog, but, you know, it got delayed and everything. Um, the bonus stream today is going to be Fire Pro Wrestling World. It just came out yesterday night. It's in early access, so we can expect some glitches and everything. But I played a bit last night, and it was really, really fun. It was just like Fire Pro Wrestling Returns back in 2004. So today I'm going to be streaming it. I'm going to be going through the challenge missions mode thing it's got. I've done a few of them off screen to see what they're like, and I finished the tutorial off screen too. It was all stuff I already know. It's exact same as uh, Wrestling Returns, but... You know, I thought I'd get those out of the way because you need to beat those to get to the actual missions. So I'm going to be redoing the first few missions on screen. And then, you know, we're just powering through and doing as many as we can. Unlock new moves and everything is going to be a lot of fun. I love the game so far. And of course, if any of you get it and want to open challenge me on stream, I'm up for that. Open wrestling challenges on stream sounds fun. As always, though, I got my Twitter in the description where you can keep up with the whole Alex Mauer things. I'm sure everybody's still concerned about that. Got Tad in the description if you want to help out with that. I've got my Patreon in the description if you want to help out there. And I've got my Amazon affiliate links. You can click them, spend money buying whatever you were already going to buy on Amazon, and I'll get a little bit of commission for it. I know a lot of people are probably concerned, and honestly, I don't feel 100%, and it doesn't help that uh, my fiance Fatima just got sick. She woke up this morning with a very sore throat. She's getting sick with how poor my immune system always is. I'm probably going to get sick, and a sore throat's really awful for me because... I talk for a living, so we just kind of have to hope for the best here. A lot of bad things are all happening at once, and I'm not going to lie and say that I'm not insanely stressed out, but I'm going to try and work the best I can because I have to work, and at least working helps me take my mind off things. As long as I'm good enough to record or I'm good enough to stream, then the editing process after at least makes me feel productive at the end of the day. Nothing makes me happier than seeing a very full render queue at the end of the day. Thank you everybody for watching and until next time, have a nice day.